Hi, well, I just wanted to show you how to put these lights on, the LED lights. Let me turn them on for you. Oh, how pretty, right? And they are on the back and then they're just taped on. And it just has a little on and off switch with a little battery that you can get from the dollar store. And I just wanna show you that they uh, I'll show you how to pinch them and everything, but they go through these little holes that are already there But they'll want to pop right I stick it through Right this one in out in out, and it will not stay unless you tape it But hot glue actually works better, but I recommend only parents doing that. So here's this one, right? And I pinched it kind of pinched it so it sticks out and then stick it through there and then you can see it in, out, and then these ones. And I'm gonna do them all with you just so you can see. But look how they pop right back out without using tape. Okay, so <clears throat> I have this one right here. It's just the original. And then you can see that there's holes, right? Pop through there, see it holes. And we're gonna put these lights on there. These are a string of uh, LED lights, and we, oh, gotta untwist them. But we have to um, make them so they work, because they're in a circle right now, and that won't work. Well, it's tighter than I thought it would be. And unravel them. But look at how they're just straight, and that won't poke through the holes, right? So we have to go to every single one and pinch them fold them over. Uh, that one doesn't want to do it. There. And I'm just going to take it and I, it's flat and I'm going to pinch it like this. And then if it twists, it should stay. Now it's like a little loop and that's what's going to pop through. So I'm going to do that to each one of those. Pinch. And twist and pinch and twist and pinch like that so we're just making little loops and it makes it look all funny And then I'm trying to pinch them slow, but they're made out of, they put melted glass over the geode, the diode. And that's what, so sometimes they don't feel completely pinched, but we just do the best we can. Pinch and twist, and it just makes a little loop. Oh, too much of a twist. almost like making a, a loop. Hey, that one's not standing. Look at it, it's standing crooked. It's pointing that way. Let me do it again. Oops. There. Then twist. Okay, better. Oop, I just twist. Stop. Stay straight, though. Okay. <laughs> twist them all up on each other. Make a little loop. And they have these um, at the craft store. I ordered a um, hundred of them from China, but they took like uh, nine, ten weeks to get here. So if you're paying the craft store for convenience, you just go over there and get there and they charge you a couple dollars. And, they... and then, oh, that one's tilted the other way. Almost done. Last one. Okay, and then I'm gonna turn it on. Right? Pink. <gasps> Ta da! It's fine. You could do, leave them on too. They don't get hot. LEDs don't get hot. They don't have enough energy to go through them. And they're arranged, the holes, I think you see them better here. They go in a diagonal here, 
here, here, here, here, here. You always go to the next closest one possible. Yeeks. Like that. If you go like this and go from this one to this one and then back down, and then you're just gonna make a whole bunch of zigzags. So we're always gonna try to go to the one closest. And before we start, I think there's 20, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Yep. So I need twenty pieces of tape, and I'm gonna cut them all first. And it's just faster. And then let me show you what happened to this one. These are all my pieces of tape, and they're all coming loose. This is duct tape, and it's just coming off, right? And I put them through there and it was all perfect. And it's been sitting about a month. And then, uh, cause I did it just as a, as a demo. And then they're all my pieces of tape are peeling off. So I got better tape. I sent your kits with better tape, better duct tape. But still, a if you go like this, a little glue gun, and after you poke it through, not the hot kind of glue gun for flowers, but the glue gun, it's like at the dollar store, it's not the hot, hot, hot um, squirt. And then um, you could use a spoon and just smash it down. If you use your finger, you could burn yourself. But if you use a, uh, just a, a little spoon, tip, 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 like that. But I'm going to show you the way that I have set up in the kit. Oh, yeah. Tear pieces of tape. One. And I'm just going to hang them off my table. One. I just need pieces. And then just rip one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven. I'll point it down so you can see And this is the reason why you tear these first is because you put the little light bulb through the hole and it comes right back out in one second. And you're like, oh, you put it back through and you go to grab your piece of tape and the light bulb came out. Okay, annoying. So we'll try to do it together. Let me just show you. So I'm going to do the very first one, right? Start at the very bottom. Either side works. And I put it through a pop. But I don't want it to stick way out, like dangly. No, I just want it to come out. And then I hold it with one hand. And with my other hand, I get my piece of tape until it's a piece through and I rub it. And I'm rubbing it like this. Of course, you saw the other tapes come off. Whatever. But I bought you good tape, so we'll see. And then I'm going to go up to the very next one. There's another one. And I put, oh, hey, tape is lifting. Your other tape by pulling it up, lift the other tape. Now I'm gonna have to put that one through and tell this one to calm down. There, but I'm still holding. I'm held onto this one the whole time. Now I'm holding onto it, pinching it. Another piece of tape. You're going that way. Okay. Then this one, pop. Hold it, pinch it. And then piece of tape. This is why we cut the tape in advance. Lay it down. Now this one, she goes up. Oh, pop through. And then we pinch it. And cover it with tape. We can't see anymore. And I was trying to point it down so you could see me doing stuff on the table, but it doesn't look like I'm gonna end up using the table. I'm gonna hold it up, I guess, like this. And then the next one goes to the very next hole. Oh, I did it too tight. To retape that, first I'm gonna put this one in her hole. Let go, put that there. Put this one in her hole, put it there. Because 
because this little part was stuck under the tape. Now I'm going to tape this one back down. Where's this one going? Are they up here? I have, I'm still holding on to the first one and poking this one through. Now I can tape the first one. Then I poke. I have this one here, I haven't taped it down yet, but I'm going to poke the second one through. To make sure, now I could tape this one down. Okay. Rub it with pushing on it with and then rubbing it with my fingers. So the two my fingers are pressing against each other. Now I go hop over to this one. And I hold on to it. I always do two at a time and then push this one through, hold it with my fingers. I'm just holding on to them, putting pressure on them with my fingers. And I can tape the first one. And then before I tape down the next one, I find where she's going to go. Put her in there. I'm always holding on to them on the other side. Tape. And then pop this one through. I'm going fast because I've done it before. It's going to irritate you because they're going to keep coming out. Because as soon as you let go, they pop back out. Now I can put tape on this one. And I think I could put tape on this one. Nope, couldn't. Too soon. Okay, put put it, the second one through her hole before. Ah, oh, see, it came out. Hold on to it. Put that guy through. And then put a piece of tape. Okay, so he doesn't have tape on him yet. I just did this one. He's right here. I'm gonna hold on to him and then poke this one through before I tape the first one. And then there's this one, but I'm not gonna tape it yet. I'm gonna poke her second one through. Now I can tape that one. Poke this one through. Now I can tape that one. So I never tape one down until I have a new one already in. And I can go back and tape that one down. Pop another one through. Oh, I'm doing it so you can't even see. See? Boop. I'm holding it. Can't always grab it. It reminds me of um, sewing. Reminds me of um, needlepoint. Needlepoint is fun and very calming. Okay. Oh, I almost put tape on it. Right? I can't put tape on it. Nope. I have to poke the second one through first. Okay, now I can put tape on it. Tell her to stay there. And I'm holding on to it and I'm pressing finger against finger. Right? Never like this, because if you push on the cotton, it makes like a dent. Oh, now I have the very last one. Push her through. Now I can go back and take that last one. And then this one. And then I would like my little dangly, my little um, light switch to stick out the side. So I can use another piece of tape. Stick it like that. And you can put these lights on before or after we paint it. So if you're going to put them on before we paint them, you have to have them done before class starts. Okay? And at 10 a.m. So you're going to have to do them soon. Um, 10 a.m. on Saturday. Or... Or we, you just don't do the lights after this is dry and we paint our snowman. Then you could put the lights on at your leisure because it'll be all dry. It doesn't take very long to dry. When it's not shiny, it's dry. And then you put the lights on. So, but not, uh, you can't put on while it's wet because you know we're putting it down on the ground and touching it. You know this ruin it because it's white paint. Right? It's white paint, and if it smears, it looks messed up. Okay, and I think I did give you a little bit of black paint for tiny fixes. Okay, and we can even add snowflakes and things like that. But I wanted to wait to our class and see how it came out. Okay, so that's how you do the lights. <laughs>